Aside from recording the screen, Camtasia is actually a very good editing program and I can import other things like video, images, pictures, audio, animation directly into Camtasia and then either edit those, I don't need a screen recording for that, or use them in my screen recording. So if I do a screen recording and I want to refer to a picture or a video clip I've got, I can edit that right in. Now, I need to import that into here and whether I do this on a Mac or on a PC, it works the same. I'm doing it on a PC here. I will do a version so that you can see it as well, how it works on a Mac too. So what I'm going to do is I can go into File and choose Import and I can choose Media. You can see I can actually import as well from Google Drive if I'm using that and if I put my credentials in, like my username and password, I can access that as well. The other way you can do this is by right-clicking here in your media bin. This here is your media bin. This is where all your media goes. So I'm just going to right-click there and again you'll see I've got import media, import from Google Drive. I'm going to click on import media. On my desktop I have got a video clips folder. I'm going to open that up and I've tried to stay fairly organized so I've got some video clips here, I've got some images and I've got some audio which happens to be a backing track and I have put them into separate folders. It's just the way I like to work. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry I may not get the time to sort them all out but anyway over here I'm just going to bring in some video first. So I'm just going to open that up and I have got various clips here and you can see it's producing thumbnails. That's the view that I've got open and I'm just going to bring some of these in. So I can just click or on one and then click on open or I could just double click on it. I could open some others at the same time and I can do that by holding down the control key and you can see that as I click on some of these they are, let's take that one and that one and that one and let's do that one there as well. Now when I click on open it's going to bring those in. I could do control A or command A if I'm on a Mac and that will highlight all of them. When I'm selecting it's control on the PC or command on the Mac to get individual ones. The other thing I can do click on the first one, hold down the shift key and just going to go down here a bit and when I click on the last one in that list you'll see it highlights everything from the first one I selected to this last one here and it doesn't have to be the very first one it's just the first one I click on and I'm going to click on open and that's going to bring them in. I get a spinning wheel for a moment and there you go it's put all of those in there. So I can easily view them like that. Now that's doing it in a thumbnail view. I can actually change it to a list view if I've got a lot here. So I can click on that and I can see them here or I can go back to the thumbnail and it is just down there. Now what if I've got some audio that I want to bring in? Well again I could right click over here and choose import media or I could go into my file and menu and do that there. So let's go back to the video clips. Let's choose the audio. There's my backing track. Click on OK. That's now brought it and you can see it's got a different symbol. So you can see this is like looks like a film strip that in the bottom right hand corner. That one looks like a little speaker, one we're familiar with that we see on the computer all the time. Let's just right click one more time, import media. Let's go to my images and there's just a couple of pictures of me. Let's get both of them, click on open and you can see that over here in the bottom left hand corner it's now got like a picture symbol so you can easily identify what's actually a video clip, what's audio and what's a picture. So this has brought in all of my assets, that's what they're referred to, the video, audio and images. I can choose how I want to sort them. So I'm going to right click and choose sort by and now I could do it by the type of file as well. So you can see here it's now got them audio first, images and then by the picture, by the sorry 
the recording. The recording here, you can see that's a screen recording there as well. Let's just uh, right click again. Let's look at sort by and you'll see that you can do things by name, duration, size, dimensions. That's kind of telling you the resolution and also the date added. Now, if you had used previous versions of Camtasia, you'll have noticed that actually it categorizes them as well. A lot of other programs don't do that, but it has done it. It doesn't seem to have that feature in here now. So now that we've got our assets in here, the next thing I'm gonna do is show you how you can add that to the timeline.